Hi everyone, welcome to Bitcoin Gem channel. I hope you all are doing great. So this is a new video on Veracity. I would just want to do a quick update on it. This was my tweet about Veracity. First, I had tweeted this on 30th of April this year that VRA is currently in this uh, structure. It's a falling wedge. So the price action within the falling wedge is always bearish. But overall, it's a bullish structure. So we are a uh, weekly. When we look at the weekly chart, I'm not looking at lower time frames. It's very clearly in this falling wedge structure. And so that was my first update on 30th of April. Then I give a next update on June, sometime in June, I guess. Let's check. Yeah. So this was the update in June. And now let's look freshly at the same chart. I have not done anything to that chart. I rarely open this, uh, which is of VRA USDT on OKX. So this is the very same chart. What I want to update is a very simple thing. You can see this is, we are looking at a daily chart first. Let me take you to weekly. So when you look at weekly, you can see this in a very clear way and let me show you on the line chart to make it more clear this is vra weekly on the line chart very very clear there is this is a confirmation of a trend there is one two three four and five touch points which is more than enough to confirm that it is a trend similarly this support has been confirmed thrice so it's a clear established trend till now and what i want to show you is this fractal that it's playing a very similar fractal that it had done before just let me delete this yeah so this is the fractal that i see this was the move where it kind of was in a bearish fractal ultimately we saw this huge expansion on the upside so i would call it consolidation and this was the same phase from july till december where bitcoin was shaky and we saw uh, the ftx scenario everything happened over here again let me remind you we are looking at a weekly chart so it's not a daily don't expect these moves to happen in one hour or one day this is looking at a higher time frame giving you the major moves so you could see all this happening and then you could see the breakout so a very similar structure a very similar pattern is repeating where you are seeing this everything happening and then eventually we can see a breakout now will it directly break out from here because it has retested this resistance a lot of time. So every time it's retesting, it's becoming weaker. Will it take a direct move up or will it need some strength? So it will come down, retest the support. You can see this is the support. When it broke out of this support, it never retested. So the second possibility is will it come down, retest and then go. So these are, uh, this is the play that you should look at when you are holding VRA, uh, in my opinion. Now is not the time to look at daily ups and downs, but it is time to look at the major move because again, observe this. I don't know if you have seen this or not. These are all falling wedges within the falling wedge. Okay, this was one falling wedge and we saw a breakout. This is kind of a falling wedge or a bull flag not a falling wedge exactly but still it's a kind of a wedge again we can see a breakout so imagine this entire price action is also a falling wedge so whenever it breaks out whether it happens here or whether it happens here i don't know we might if there are uh, some macro plays happening and we see some kind of a 
huge any any kind of a huge event where we see some further crash something like this can happen but still what is the risk to reward that you have to uh, estimate for yourself that you have to judge for yourself and eventually in my opinion this is going to break out on the upside there is no doubt in my mind at least i am extremely bullish overall on this project so i have zero doubts that this is going to break out the only thing it whether it does like this something like this whether it does something like this or it comes all the way down these are the different probabilities that you have to look into in my opinion but overall what i am looking at is plainly these two scenarios if bitcoin stays bullish overall and we see bitcoin slowly grinding higher in the coming few weeks or months then we can expect this breakout or we can expect this retest double bottom scenario and breakout let me show you my main chart this is my vra main chart this is vra kucoin so i majorly use this chart even now vra is in this weekly falling wedge and bull uh, bull flag you can see this is the bull flag whenever it breaks out suppose it breaks out from here this is my target at around two and a half cents let's say if it goes down and breaks out from here then again this can be a target so around two cent region so this is the long term play in my opinion uh, for vra ultimately i do see it making a new all time high if you purely observe the bear market structure of 2019 2020 i have already shared this structure to my genesis nft group it's purely repeating that structure there is nothing new about it so even if you think that this structure is in play then this was the kind of a play consolidation and a huge breakout and that is needed if there is no such consolidation how do you expect this expansion again we are looking at a weekly chart so if you want a proper one one and half year of bull market you at least need a two year of consolidation in my opinion because these are all parabolic moves if you want your chart to make a 10x 100x play then you need that kind of uh, consolidation because it is really this consolidation that makes this chart stronger it's a foundation and ultimately going for new all time highs you cannot just expect something like this something like this no you need a consolidation a good consolidation on a weekly chart that that is what you need and i am glad that vra is doing that it is shaking out all the weekends and this was this was predicted i had tweeted this in 2021 that this is what is going to happen let me show you this tweet i had said this in 2021 because i was oh uh, sorry in 2022 throughout 2022 i said everybody that it's a bear market if you can take profits or sell but unfortunately a lot of hodlers were there and nothing wrong in hodling if you believe in something i mean everybody has their own strategy so i'm not criticizing anyone but the only thing that i want to sh share is this is what happens i have seen this happen in markets a lot because after a point your psychology or mindset may not be prepared you might not be prepared to to do what it takes so i had said this last year a lot of bag holders will sell early some going to exit at break even some even at small loss and are going to miss some good pumps too unfortunately bad decision decisions work in both trends so in downtrend i was shouting that it's a ma macro downtrend please don't talk about all time highs and please don't uh, you hodl if you are ready to hodl because even though it happens quickly in traditional terms 2 3 years are not a big deal in traditional markets but in crypto we want everything very fast and that does not happen it takes a good amount of consolidation but still when compared to traditional markets 
we are extremely fast. So a two-year consolidation, let's say which started from here. So what is wrong with a two-year consolidation? What's wrong with this? Nothing wrong, very healthy price action where we ultimately break out and uh, go for a new all-time high after a Bitcoin halving. What's wrong in that? Nothing wrong in that. So again, I'm not saying that. I'm giving you two scenarios. If you Because both are equally uh, sound fractals. Either you believe we are in this kind of a consolidation or you believe that we are in this falling wedge where ultimately we go for a breakout again letting you know this is a weekly chart. So everything that you look at is one week candle. So this entire flag pattern, if you see, it's in this formation since February of this year. So it's a weekly candle. It will take time. If you're expecting it to just go in one day, one hour, I am. I think you will be saddened. I hope you are right. I don't mind if it comes to new all time. I Today I will trade it, but this is what realistically I am expecting it to. And I think this is what you should do. Let's quickly look into the BRA BTC chart. Again, very, very clear. This is BRA BTC chart. This in fact is a rising wedge, but not entirely a uh, rising wedge in my opinion. This is almost... Uh, every Bitcoin, every asset against Bitcoin looks like this at one point. But what you observe very clearly again, that we are retesting previous bear market highs. This was 2019, 2020, huge resistance. Look at this. We are, it took huge uh, time to break out of this. Similarly, currently we are forming, let's say this is the base and this is the top. And something like this can happen where eventually it breaks this and begins in. Look at this. This was the support for the bear market. Ultimately broke it, shaking out all the final people and then resuming bull market. Something like this can happen in against Bitcoin. It stays there, ultimately eventually shaking out final people weakest of hands and resuming. This is what markets do. This is where markets test you. And so I want you to be aware. I hope you find this video valuable. Do subscribe to the channel. Uh, join me on Twitter. And if you can, join in the Bitcoin Gem Genesis NFT group. I am telling you it will be worth it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye.